Right, hello guys. Hope everybody's keeping well. Now look, just date into the shed here. I uh, just want to try and make a wee quick video. One of the guys on uh, Facebook, one of the older groups that I haven't actually been on in a long time. Uh, I sold him one of these. Like a long time ago, way last year. It's a Tart uh, ZYXM uh, flight controller. And it's a pretty good flight controller, I like it. I had a few of them. I've got one on the Tart 680, I've got one here on the 960. I had, and I've got one on my S550, but it's at my dad's house, the S550. And I had another one, a spare one, but I sold that flight controller on. Pretty good wee flight controller, I like them. Maybe not the best in the world to set up, because setting the gains you have to fly. And then I see that you can't tweak the gains, you have to land, and then tweak the gains through the assistant, and then you have to t test it again. Bit of a pain in the arse. But anyway, just quickly, uh, I wanted to show you here quickly. We were talking about the GPS puck, and where to set the position on the GPS puck. And he wasn't too sure exactly uh, what way to measure it. So just quickly out in the shed, I'm going to make this quick, starting in just a wee second, to show you how to measure up for the putting on the GPS puck. On the your the top of your uh, your drone UAV whatever you want to call it everybody's a bit different because it's going to be in a different position but this is the way mine is and this is how you measure it right so we'll flick this camera around right so we'll have the camera turned around you've seen I'm getting weird color flashes don't worry about that we're inside the shed and it's losing GPS and stuff right so quickly you can see the GPS here flight controllers on there the arrow is facing forward to the front of the aircraft on top of the GPS too. The small little arrow is facing front to the front of the aircraft. And everything we're going to be doing is going to be based on everything facing forward. Here we have the assistant here uh, for mounting. And here you can see everything's facing forward, up and forward. So we'll have a wee quick look and see. So basically we're going to be measuring. So everything in the purple is negative. And everything in the red is positive. So we're going to take a bird's eye view. So we'll look at that. So we'll quickly draw it out and make it easier. Just a quick draw. There's my drone. Right. That's the middle. That's the middle of my drone. And we're going to draw a quick cross. Here. Right. So a quick cross. That's the top of my drone. GPS puck, roughly, if you're looking at it from above. GPS puck is probably down around about 5 o'clock position, roughly, 5 o'clock. So we're going to look at it from above, down about 5 o'clock, and the GPS puck is probably about here. So that's GPS. GPS, and that's the flight controller in the middle. So, where's my tape measure? So we're looking at it with a bird's eye view. They get these measurements here. And that's at five o'clock. So you want to go and see roughly from the middle. It doesn't have to be exactly the middle of the millimeter, but you can see there roughly from the middle of the flight controller out to the puck. Probably from the middle of the puck. It's not a million miles off ten centimeters. It's not a million miles off ten centimeters. So we'll take that as our position ten centimeters from the middle to the back. So that's from there. That's from here. To the middle so that's 10 centimeters that way then we're going to be coming out the way now from the middle across looking at it from the back and we'll look at it and we'll say roughly there's the middle there's the middle i would go with roughly the middle and out i can't get this to focus because i can't tap the screen it's not focusing, but anyway, we'll say about 30 mil, 3 centimeters. So out the way, then to here is this wee bit here is 3 centimeters. And then the other bit we're going to be looking at is there's the machine. Uh, that's just the view of it. And the GPS puck obviously goes up. And there's a the GPS puck there at the top. So we need to measure the height. And the height of the GPS puck is 10, 20, 30. Say roughly 120 mil, 12 centimeters. 120 
mil, well, it's 12 centimetres. Same difference. I normally work on millimetres, but I'm trying to keep this in centimetres for everybody. So what we'll have to have a look at there here is quickly. Everything in red is positive. So X forward for your GPS is in red. So it's going to be 10 centimetres. Y out to the side is red because it's over to the sort of it's to the right and it's in plus as well and then we can see the GPS module here it's a purple color because the GPS is mounted above the craft not below the craft so it's a negative number so there we go so it's 10 3 and 12 but it's actually minus 12 so you want to go to the Uh, the assistant and you can see the GPS X and I done that wrong we're not forward we're actually back remember we're actually came back so we're looking at it there's the middle sorry and we're back from the middle so we're coming back in the purple which means it's a negative number so X is a negative number sorry which is negative 10 which I already have saved in there uh, the Y going across the way which I said was three centimeters that is a positive number because it's in red and we'll come across and you can see I have that right already there, which is three centimeters. And then the GPS puck, because it's coming up, is actually a negative number. And it's minus 13. Now it's give or take a centimeter. I actually measured it at 12 that time, so we can change that to 12. Down to the keyboard quick here. Where are we? Alright, I'll just go across and we'll change that. Minus, minus 12 and remember it's in yellow every time you change something on this you need to hit enter for it to save and then once you've saved it you go up and you right flash and that's it now programmed and that's the GPS puck programmed simple as that not overly hard and you see you want to always try and work from a bird's eye view looking down at with everything facing forward Get yourself a rough idea where the puck is and sort of go clock, use your clock. We were at uh, roughly the five o'clock position and we worked it out from the middle down was 10 centimetres. We worked it out from the middle across was three centimetres and then we worked the height of it was 12 centimetres. And then we had to change that the, according to the red or purple, change it to negative. So we're coming behind, it was a negative number. And uh, this one, the GPS was going up, it was a negative number. The one coming out to the side was a positive number. And that's how you work it out there. The flight controller, it remains at zero because the flight controller is always left smack bang in the middle of the aircraft. It's not like I moved it for you. If you, if you move this flight controller forward or off to the side or off to the side, you can input the, uh, you can input that as well. So that knows that it's not right mounted in the middle of the aircraft. But here, this on this occasion, and most people normally always do mount their flight controllers uh, dead center in the middle of the aircraft right guys anyway so hopefully that maybe helps some of you out there if you're trying to measure up for the gps puck hope it made a bit of sense anyway a wee bit of a rushed one but i just thought i'd come out here and spend a couple of minutes i haven't really played with this big machine in a long long time it's been a long time since i even programmed the tarot or messed about with it I was out fiddling about but a month ago i had it out for a wee quick test flight but other than that I'm using the other aircraft now. I've got the got a Mavic. I've got a, a unique H520, a unique H, and I've bought an Inspire 2. So I'm all kitted out, and I've got loads of stuff to lift and go, all ready to fly straight out of the box without having the balls about with these big brutes of things anymore, which is actually great. But I still miss see see that balls about with DJI crap and no fly zones and all. So keep these big beasties because you never know when the time comes that you might need one of them again someday you might find yourself stuck in you something like this you can you know you can pull out calibrate the compass and away you go might not be the most stable as the footage in the world but if you were stuck for it it could pull you out of a hole someday you know it really could right guys all the best take care get you again later hopefully maybe this year i keep saying i'm going to do more youtube videos and try to do something a wee bit interesting we'll see what happens this year and uh, you never know. We might we might get uh, a few more uh, videos done this year and see how it goes. Right. Bye bye.